Hi everybody. Um, today I just want to let you all know that um, I have over 2,000 nail polishes. Um, most of them being OPI and some Deborah Lipman and some other stuff. Um, I usually buy Deborah Lipman for myself for my birthday or so because um, her polish is like $19 a bottle or so. But what I didn't want to do was this year when um, I always go for the fads and the trendy stuff and everything that's out because I'm truly into nail art. Um, OPI has their sure tints out and then it was, it was weird because um, last year I brought about four polishes from oh China Glaze and they were sheer and I would use them as a sheer as a jelly sandwich and I would put a sheer coat on and then put a, some glitter polish in between as well as put a sheer coat on top and I absolutely loved it but what I noticed that like with um, OPI is that they only have four colors I think um, Sally Hansen's triple triple shine or something they're supposed to have like five colors or whatever but what if I wanted more than that what if I wanted to really just work it myself and not pay so much well this is what I did and I just did it today I went to Walgreens and I bought um, clear polish which this bottle right here was one of the bottles that I brought. This is actually um, the Fast Dry from Wet n Wild Clear Polish. And I poured like a little bit, a quart, maybe not even a quarter of it out, um, out of each bottle. I brought five bottles and then I had a Sally, another Sally Hansen Super Shine that I was pouring all the bottles into that was empty. Um, these bottles of clear um, top coat were only 69 cents. So, I brought four of those. I already had this one. And I already had this. So, as you can see, I've already made five polishes. Hence the reason why instead of seeing my dress today, you see me with a scarf on that's going to have, it actually has all the colors that I plan on making um, these polishes in. You know, and then the sheer, sheer tints. And I'll show you what they look like, you know. Or I've already swatched some of them. But what I'm going to do now is just show you... Um, how easy it is to do your own instead of paying 450 as a licensed cosmetologist to get it from OPI or um, I think they're probably nine dollars if you're not licensed and also um, I couldn't find the, the triple shine ones and then why you know I love OPI I do I have so many polishes that I don't necessarily need because some of them are so similar but why spend so much money on something that you can make at home um, and then come up with your own color combinations and whatever you like. You could have ten, you know, instead of five. Um, so what I want to do now is show you the polishes that I made and the swatches. Okay, we're gonna start from right here. Okay, this purple that I made, as you can see, the the way you could tell if a a color is opaque or a gloss usually it's best if you see it on like a a black brush however I hope you can see it on here you can see through it I mean you can see that it's hardly any paint like on the brush or it looks like it's not if it looks like it's coating it too much then it's not a jelly then it's not you know it's not gonna give you that shirt that you're looking for out of all the colors that I used, wow, this green just popped, and I mean, it's like totally, totally, totally a sheer tint, beautiful sheer tint, and I'm going to show you what colors I used to get these colors, too, um, so that's what you're looking for, you're looking for it to be, like, transparent, translucent, you want to see through it, see through it on the brush, okay? And you just you do it by adding drop by drop you know you don't add too much it's, it's best to add the least amount possible in the beginning and then you can continue on so you get to where you want it and do some test swatches so what I'm about to show you is a purple this is my purple and I'm not sure if it's going to show up that clear on here but this is a uh, hold on Okay, this is a double coat of the purple. Down at the bottom part, you will see like a single coat, one, one, one coat. This next to it is the green. 
That's this one. Okay. This is the Okay, this is the blue. The blue came out very, very pretty. I have to show you the colors I used, though. I also used some colors um, that were made by Wet n' Wild. Um, that's the Wet n' Wild on top coat that I'm using. This is a pink that I made. This is it right here. I hope you can see it better than what I can see. Okay. And then this is yellow. I really can't tell about this light. Okay, see how you can see through the polish? Where's the yellow? That's what it says, so it's a translucent. I can't even see it. Okay, so it's this last one right here. But that's only two coats. But you want it to be sheer. Okay, um, Wet and Wild is something that I, it's like my artist go to paint. You know, just when I know I want to just use some stuff for art or whatever. But they, got, they have some new colors out. I only purchased three of them, and this is how I made my blue. This is their um, Wet n Wild Mega Last. Okay, that's my dog acting crazy. And this color is called Coast to Coast. 34, no, 34304. Beautiful. My green, I had to have this green because this is almost like translucent or like a jelly in a, um, already, and it's called Contact High. <laughs> This is the green. I think it is awesome. This is one of my favorite greens now. I just got it today. And then this one is tripping on the boardwalk is how I made my purple. Okay. And how I made my pink was a combination of Wet n Wild's two of their colors. Um, one is Tickle Pink and one is Lavender Cream. This doesn't look at lavender to me. It looks smart. Bubblegum pinky pink. I don't know. In between bubblegum and a real rich pink. But anyway, those are the two that I use to get this pink. And again, all these are wet and wild colors that I've used. For my yellow, the only thing different is I use their, their Santee. Um, Santee, um, what is it? Glow in the Dark, which is what I'm about to show you now, how I'm about to do the orange. So I've already taken my polish out the bottle. You know, enough for me to put in as much as I want of the orange. It depends on how, the richness and how rich I can get it without it, you know, going opaque on me. And actually, I'm using this glow in the dark color because it's actually a real thin base. I mean, the polish itself is thin. So I'm just basically what I'm doing is taking polish out of there. And I'm going on the side and just letting it drip. Okay. And then you do it to you get to the color that you want it. This is pretty much of a sheer color, so I might have to use a lot. Okay, so I don't know if you were counting. I wasn't. I was distracted. My dog is a killer. <laughs> Okay, and then I want to roll the polish in between my hands to get uh, all the, the color to mix in. I'm looking at it, and I can almost say that, no, this is not where I want it yet. I don't even see any on the brush. It doesn't even look like it started coating yet. So, I'm going to continue to add my polish to my bottle of clear. This is this, um, what is it? This is the wet and wild, um, it really doesn't matter what you use, but this is the fast dry. Again, the other bottles I got were 69 cent. I'm going to probably go back and get about 10 more bottles. That's the deal. You can never have so much of top coat. It's some of the stuff you could do art wise with top coat. Um, and I always believe in sealing. Well, it's not my top coat that I use, like, you know, for a finished design. That's just be or out the door. So, I am going in again and 
rolling around so I can keep the least amount of air bubbles in. You know, I'm not about to paint anybody's nails. I want you all. Oh, also, those swatches that you saw were on. I had already polished um, each one with um, a coat of the white. Um, what do they call it French white. French, oh, it was just French white. French white cream. French white cream <laughs> by Wet and Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't say queen. <laughs> Maybe because, I mean, hey, that's what I am. A queen. Okay. So, this is looking more like I want it. It's translucent. I have a black brush. I think I have a black brush in here. Yeah, this one is a black brush. I still don't see anything. I don't see anything on here. Wow. What I can do is just go ahead and swatch. And see. Oh. Surprise, surprise, surprise. It's actually about where I wanted to be. Wow. And I'm just trying to do like a thin coat because, again, with the sheer tints, you're going to be playing with them, mixing them up together and everything, which I'll probably do on another video. I just wanted to really show you how to make your own. So my orange did come out okay. This is just one coat. So you guys, this is the one coat that I just did okay and you have to remember that the rest of the two coats so this one is a little bit lighter right now this is all done on what you call it again this is how my bottle looks now I have my orange I have my purple yellow my green which is my favorite and, my, and blue this is hot too and my my pinkish color now I will do a video soon um because this one is already too long soon showing the different things that I, I do with it so that's all if you want to just DIY you know your own uh, sheer tints that's an easy way of doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. I appreciate it. And have a great day.